everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to, I'm going to throw something together real easy. Thanksgiving's coming up. You guys liked my, um, I think it was a peach fluff salad that I did back at uh, Easter. This is a caramel apple fluff. And I'm going to need my can opener. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five simple ingredients. Four apples, a cup of Cool Whip. This is the... Everybody always asks the size, so of course I can't find a size on it. It is eight ounces. Um, we're going to use a cup of mini marshmallows and butterscotch instant pudding mix, along with pineapple. I don't know if I said pineapple. So let me get this started open. I'm going to do it over here with the sink, just in case I have issues. There we go. Let me get a little bowl. I don't want to waste this pineapple juice. So I'm just going to... Because we don't want it in there because it will make it too runny. So I just drain it and now I'm making a mess. Look at me go there. So I got most of that pineapple juice out. I'm going to set it right there. Clean up my little mess. If you guys think you saw me in this shirt before, yeah. Because I'm doing the ham and bean soup over here. It's not a nice day outside. So today was going to be a cooking day. Put that back. So we're going to just have one bowl. And I'm pretty sure I can get it all in this one bowl today. Let me get these all chopped up. Now you can use any kind of apple you want. Some people like their caramel apples. A little tangy. More, I like mine more sweet. So these are, I think these are honey crisp that I found. We're just going to dice these up in small pieces, just bite-sized pieces. And you can throw this together, put it in the refrigerator, because you're going to want to let it sit at least an hour before you serve it. So you can do it first thing in the morning, but you can definitely do it the night before if you're going to do this for Thanksgiving as a little treat, side salad, dessert. I mean, it, in my opinion, it's a dessert because it's sweet and it's good. Sorry if my knife is making too much noise here. There we go. And I'm not usually when I'm cooking with apples, I'll soak them and put them in vinegar. Oh, I'm um, vinegar. A little bit of water and lemon juice. That way they don't turn brown. But I'm doing this quick enough today, plus if they get a little bit brown, it's okay because the salad's going to be brown colored. So you're not going to see it. It doesn't hurt them any. Okay. Crazy. The, just the other day when I went and got these apples, the prices are still going up, up, up. I, don't, I think I paid... $3.99 or four something a pound for these apples. Everything is increasing. I don't know if you guys have seen on the news. They say by the 25th of November there's not going to be any diesel fuel, which concerns me. It should concern everybody. Our son, youngest son's a truck driver. He can barely, I mean, he's he's not making it right now. I think he said his last paycheck, because he's an owner operator, has his own truck. So. He gets paid from his company he works for, but and he, I, I believe the way it is, they have a card for gas from the company. So by the time he got paid the last time, and they took out his fuel expenses, which is over five dollars a gallon, and you just can't, you can't survive on that. He ended up like I think he said seven dollars in the hole. The check was seven dollars, negative seven dollars. They just, I don't know what the trucker ever is going to do. Even if the, we don't run out of fuel, it's so expensive that they can't make any money. And if we do run out, you guys understand everything we do needs diesel. School buses need diesel. The semis need diesel. Bringing us our food, bringing us building supplies, bringing us everything. Every truck you see going down that road is diesel. Trains, a lot of trains are diesel. It's just, it's crazy to believe that in this time 
and we're the, supposed to be the best country in the world that we're at this position. So that's another reason. Setting up my own homestead, taking care of myself, me and my family. He'll end up probably putting a cabin on our land too. Mom's already picked out her spot. I don't know if she's going to do it or not, but got a feeling she is. So we may have a little family compound there where we can all take care of each other. But if I was you guys, go out and get stuff. Anything you can get, stock up on. Get your turkey now. Turkey's going to be expensive. Turkey may not be there when you go to get it for Thanksgiving. Get it now and stick it in the freezer. Get all anything you can that you can afford to get. Get it and get a little extra so you have it. Because this isn't going to be a pretty fall and winter. Okay, I'm going to quit mumbling here. I got my apple cut up. Better do some quality assurance. Mm, I love apples. My grandma Jean used to have an apple tree on her farm. And she's chased me out of that all the time when they're ripe. Because I just climb up in there and just eat those little apples. Okay. So we got our four apples cut up. I'm going to <clears throat> try not to choke on this apple that I'm eating. We're going to put in the pineapple. All right, let me get my scissors. And we're going to do about a cup of marshmallows. But first, you know what I want to do first? I want to mix this Cool Whip and butterscotch together. Get it mixed in so it can start setting a little bit. And you don't have to use Cool Whip. You can use store brand. It was weird. Cool Whip was actually less expensive than the store brand, so that's why I got it. So now let's just put this in. We're going to put it all in. Spread it around a little bit so I can put the pudding on top of it. Got to save those Cool Whip containers. I know growing up, it was hard when you're looking at Grandma's fridge or you didn't know if it was Cool Whip or butter. Because that's all you sell is all those containers and you didn't know which one the leftovers were in. And they're nice and sturdy, so I still use them. So now this is the whole package of the butterscotch pudding. I'm just going to try to mix that together a little bit here. Wow, it already smells good. Okay, and about a cup of the marshmallows. We're just going to guesstimate it here. Well, it might be a little bit more, but that's okay. Let's bring this all together. And we didn't put any extra sugar in here, so only thing in here is what's in that pudding, the marshmallows, which are sugar, and Cool Whip. And my friends, that is just how easy it is to make this. Let me get in there a spoon. I'm going to give this a taste. Oh, got me a long spoon. Mmm. That is good. Now, <clears throat> like I said, there's not any extra sugar in here. One thing I like to do with sweet things like this is I put a pinch of salt in. It just intensifies the effect, the flavors and the sweetness. And that sounds crazy, but sweet and salty is good together. There you go. So put this in the refrigerator at least an hour, and it's going to tighten up a little bit more because that jello or the pudding mix, well, it is jello, jello pudding. Um, but you can make this the night before. 
just make sure the next day give it a good stir because the apples may lose a little bit of their juice so i always make it that morning of whenever i'm going to serve it so for thanksgiving i do it that morning so there you go there's my caramel apple fluff easy to make i hope you guys try it out for thanksgiving hope you have a great thanksgiving and don't forget to go out and get your turkey and all everything you need right now because you may have trouble finding it soon so i'll see you again soon take care love you and god bless bye-bye